So, if you got this expensive cute little baby and want to build some fancy AR application, this video is right for you. Oh hey, my cyber friends. Welcome to Luxury XR. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about starting off building your very first XR application. I got into the mixed reality world back in 2020. So far, I built application for all the mainstream headsets, you name it, in the Western market. What bothered me the most during my development process is the field is changing so fast that the video published a year or two ago may already be updated. I was setting up my whole S1 with Unity. The mixed reality feature too wasn't really a thing. But when I was migrating to a new version of Unity, this tool was super helpful in getting MRTK into the project and setting up OpenXR for Unity. I mean, you can still do it in an old-fashioned way. What it does is to help you get over all the headaches of setting things up and you can save the time for doing more cool stuff, right? So if you got this expensive cute little baby and want to build some fancy AR application, this video is right for you. Again, this is everything you need to know about building your AR application with HoloLens 2 and Unity in 2022. Without further ado, I will see you on my computer screen. This video is based on the documentation provided by Microsoft, which I will link it in the description. To start, we first need to check the system requirements and download all the required softwares. We need to have a Windows PC because HoloLens runs on Universal Windows Platform, aka UWP, and then this PC needs to be running on either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Then use the link in the description to download Unity Hub and Visual Studio 2022. And the last one, we also need the Make Serati feature tool from Microsoft. After we have the Unity Hub ready, we go to Installs, Install Editor, Archive, Download Archive. Go to the 2020 tab on the web page, search for 2020.3.28. Click on Unity Hub, give it a second to load up. Select Universal Windows Platform Support and Windows Support. Of course, feel free to select others as well as it will probably need it in the future, but those two are essential in order to deploy to HoloLens 2. Go to Projects, start a new 3D project. On the top, select 2020.3.28 if you have multiple versions of Unity like me. Give it a fancy project name and choose your desired location. Go to Files, Project Setting, and select UWP. Set the target device to HoloLens and set the architecture to ARM64. I think we don't need to change anything else, but just to double check, the build type is set to D3D. Now we can finally smash on the switch platform button. Unzip your Mixed Reality Feature tool and double click on the .exe file. Select your lovely project location and then click on Discover Features. Expand Mixed Reality Toolkit and select Extension, Example, and Foundation. Scroll down for Platform Support and select OpenXR Plugin. Click on Features, make sure to validate before import. Approve and exit. You have to restart Unity when the import is done. Select Unity OpenXR Plugin and open up Settings. Go to XR Plugin Management, select OpenXR and the Microsoft HoloLens Feature Group. Go to OpenXR, set depth to 16 bits. Under Interaction Profile, add Gaze, Hand Interaction, and Motion Controller to it. Toggle Holographic Remoting. This is super helpful to visualize things in HoloLens without actually deploying to the machine. Click on Fix All and trust Unity to fix all errors. Click on Apply to finally finish up the setup. On the top, go to Mix Reality, Remoting, and Holographic Remoting. Under the Project section, we can find all the examples we've imported under Packages, MRTK Examples, Comments, Prefabs. I'll do a quick demo with those Prefabs very soon. Before we add those Prefabs to the scene, we should configure MRTK first. So we go to the top again, MRTK, Toolkits, Add the scene and configuration. In this way, we've added Mixed Reality Toolkit to the current scene. You can see that there are three objects being added to the scene. Let's focus on the Mixed Reality Toolkit for now. Click on it, you can see the default Mixed Reality Config Profile. This profile is for general uses. It isn't optimized for any particular use case. For simplicity, we'll just do a clone for now. We can still add this profile to optimize for a specific platform we are using. If you are interested in getting MRTK working on other XR devices, let me know in the comment section.
Go to the example folder again and let's drag piano to the scene. Agree to import Text Mesh Pro. Let's set up holographic remoting player in order to try it out in HoloLens in play mode. First, let's enter the Microsoft Store, search for holographic remoting player in the search bar, install and open it up. Type in the IP address you saw in the headset into the remote hostname section and enable holographic remoting for play mode. Go ahead and hit play. Try playing this piano in the headset. Let's also add a customized object to the scene. Right click on the hierarchy, select cube. Go to the inspector, set the position and scale it down. Add component and we will add object manipulator script to the cube. This will allow us to interact with the cube using raycast from the hand. It's also worth trying the play mode without holographic remoting. You can move around using WASD on the keyboard, hold down red mouse to rotate the camera. You can also emulate the hand using space or shift. We can also add a near hand interaction to the cube. Finally, it's time to deploy to HoloLens. Go to File, Build Setting, and let's try build. Since we choose the remote machine, we don't need a cable for the deployment. We can set up the IP address by going to Debug Property and enter the IP address into the machine name field. Click on OK and go to Debug again, start without debugging. It has successfully deployed to HoloLens. Let's try it out. If you're having trouble deploy to HoloLens, check to see if your Visual Studio has both desktop and UWP development support. If you do not see any remote machine or device under this list, it's probably because you do not select the correct project for the startup project. You can change the startup project from the Solution Explorer, right-click on it, and set as startup project. If you are able to deploy to HoloLens but the project is not showing up on the device, you can go to the project setting and see if OpenXR initialized on startup is toggled on. So that's it for today's tutorial. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you think this is helpful. More importantly, all the best with Unity. Bye bye!